Durst the worst? Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Back to the educational system being completely hostile toward uh, white male persuasion. People of the light uh, mofos. This Utah school produced this specimen. Ugh. Let's just check this fucking disgusting person out. It, this person talks about just overtly and intentionally creating a hostile educational environment for white students. Uh, let's just hear it from the horse's mouth, shall we? The horse face mouth. Ugh. So for the first time in my life, I'm going to be teaching at a majority white school. And I'm kind of interested to see how um, students and parents react to my classroom or if they even notice anything about it um, because it's built for non-white students. Just straight up brazenly can get on the internet and say like, yeah, I'm building a student or, you know, a, a classroom that is specifically for non-white students and it's at a majority white school. Um, a spokesman for the Granite School District, Ben Horsley, released a statement and said that the teacher's comments were, quote, very disconcerting, and she has been placed on leave while the district inve district investigates the matter. Excuse me. So, yeah, I mean, she's getting, she's on leave, so that's, does that imply that she's getting paid, you know? <laughs> like, she's getting paid to sit on her freaking ass and probably create the next lesson plan for the next school that she's going to get transferred to. Like, if she gets fired from this one, she'll just be transferred to another one that's all about it. And she'll have time to write the next net lesson plan that's overtly anti-white and anti-father, anti-male, anti-nuclear family, anti-Christian, anti-anything decent or orderly or symmetrical or right. Because, I mean, come on, dude. She's a fellow white, right? Like, total, let's take a look, right? Like, that's a fellow white right there. That is a, that is a fellow fucking white. <laughs> right, that's a... We white people need to do better in giving them all our money. And by all our money, I mean your money. <laughs> um, so yeah, the unnamed teacher sporting dyed red hair, of course, taught at William Penn Elementary within the Granite School District and originally posted her video on social media. Um, yeah, like... Uh, further commentary on the alternative look. I remember you know, back in my day, you know, in the early 03s, right? Like 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, the alternative look, like if you saw somebody with freshly dyed red hair, it meant that they were kind of like spunky and kind of hot, right? It kind of meant that they were maybe actually edgy, you know, they were actually involved in alternative lifestyle or subculture, fringe society kind of activities. Um, now it just means that you're on TikTok extolling the virtues of the establishment because the virtues of the establishment are now like sex trafficking and grooming kids and mutilating and drugging kids with Lupron um, so that people of the tribe, people of the every single time tribe can make their shekels. Um, <laughs> but she writes, or continues, for the first time in my life she said, I'm going to be teaching in a majority white school and I'm kind of interested to see how students and parents react to my classroom or if they even notice anything about it because it's built for non-white students. So this isn't happening, folks. This is just an alt-right conspiracy theory. Um, but it is happening, and it's good that it's happening. The teacher added that she had made an effort to limit representation of white kids in the material she presents to students, which extended into coloring books where, quote, not a single one with a white person on it depicts... Wait, excuse me. Not a single one with a person on it depicts a white person or character. So it's just overtly, proudly, happily anti-white. Uh, exclusive of white people. Like, intentionally, with intent. Just exclusive. Excluding people on the basis of their race. And it's unilateral. It's against one race. White people. So, there there you have it. Maroon maned. <laughs> Maroon maned. Pretty clever there. Educator also <clears throat> said that literature was, quote, kind of dominated by a straight sus white man but her library quote is it overpowered now from all the books that i've been purchasing to add to my library that depict a lot of diverse peoples whether that's people of color or have like books or non-binary <laughs> non non-binary berry oops not all non-binary trans otherwise lgbt characters so here oh here's a key part right here 
I've been purchasing to add to my library. So, you know that sob story that fucking teachers always bring to the table? They don't pay us enough. I have to go into my own personal funds to get school supplies for my students. This is what they're talking about. Like, extra elective activist -y kind of bullshit that they want to brainwash the kids with, you know? So she wants to bring in a bunch of LGBT coloring books and, like... I'm a trans, non-binary, 47 gender with 12 gay dads, like, you know, <laughs> like grooming little kids to be gay and trans fetishists, like that sort of thing, like furries and shit like that. She wants to bring that sort of shit into the classroom and the district doesn't necessarily cover it. So she's being, you know, uh, oppressed in some way or underpaid in some way, right? That's what the teachers are always saying. Quote, I feel like she says, continues, I feel like some parents might have something to say about it, she concluded, citing her, quote, experience with posh white parents. That's fucking hilarious, considering that your average proponent of this crap is like a posh bourgeois fellow white, you know, white presenting, usually, or, you know, a plurality at the time. Kind of posh bourgeois asshole living in a gated community. Um, vegan hipster probably wants to drink the soy and eat the bugs and listens to NPR, reads HuffPo, watches CNN, right? Like, would never live around the conditions that they themselves advocate for, would never live around, like, racial diversity, would never live around, you know, like, a hyper-feminized, matriarchal kind of society, right? They would never live around the conditions that they are insisting that we live under, right? Just terrible, disgusting, just locust-type personalities. So... Just lies about the nature of the people that oppose this. The people that oppose this are not generally posh. They're everyday fucking people. They're working class kind of people, right? That if you brought that onto the job site, they'd fucking look at you sideways. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm just trying to... You know, I'm just trying to, like, do my job here. It's like the Robin D'Angelo types, right? Again. Again. Like, sheltered asshole, assholes that promote this shit. So the teacher removed the video, apologized, but an investigation was launched by the school district to see any policies have been violated. I mean, if your school district isn't insane, um, she should be fired for just blatantly being ra racially discriminatory, obviously. William Penn Elementary Principal Dr. Nicole Higgins released a statement on Sunday reiterating that she was personally committed to ensure, quote, ensure every student feels safe and welcome. Good adding that it is, quote, inappropriate for any employee to make students feel unwelcome in any way, shape, or form. That is good. So, because usually when they say safe space and making students and people feel safe and welcome, usually what they mean is that it's a unilateral attack on the white students. They mean that it's like, you know, the, uh, the red hair, goofy nose, small hat contingent um, saying that there's too many white people here. We need to be inclusive of, like, trans, non-binary black arsonist race rioting sex offenders or you're a nazi right um but it's cool that uh these people are actually taking like those words at face value right if you want to be safe and welcome you're not going to be tolerant of like i'm gonna have only a coloring box of no white people like that's <laughs> that doesn't make people feel welcome obviously you're being intentionally antagonistic and bringing your shitty radical activism into the classroom, you know. So it would be in violation of our district policies and state board rules to teach anything other than the approved curriculum and standards or to discriminate against any student. As soon as our investigation is complete, we anticipate taking appropriate corrective action. We know that our role as educators is to support parents and the families we serve, and we value our parents and their engagement in our schools and our classrooms. So yeah, no... Right, she's on the paid leave, so the taxpayers are paying for her to sit on her ass and probably, you know... She's, again, she's probably preparing, like, another lesson plan and probably taking that paid leave money and buying even more books, right? Like, creepy, groomy, child molesty, riotous, genital mutilady, tribal, small hat bullshit. But, uh, at least it's somewhat of a white pill that this person was put on leave, like, as in not in a position to influence at least these kids. But, yeah, I mean, I anticipate this person getting transferred, just like shitty cops, right? Shitty teachers just get transferred and juggled around. The system doesn't actually do anything about them because the system produces them and cultivates their bullshit. 
But yeah, you see a teacher like this at your school, keep an eye on them or switch schools because they're homeschool, whatever. This shit's fucking bogus. All progressives do is lie 100% of the time without exception. They are pathologically incapable of telling the truth. They literally can't fucking do it. <laughs> lie of commission they evade the topic they fucking cherry pick evidence because all they do is lie without exception 100 fuck percent fuck of fuck the fuck time fuck